I'm gonna show you this really cool poster that is in this tube right here. So I was browsing Facebook Marketplace looking for different Star Wars things, different books, uh, different memorabilia, things like that. And I found this guy selling this for what I consider is dirt cheap. And this is really cool, so let me open this up and show you. So here it is. Let's see if we can see everything. So forgive the shaky handheld camera here. This is a poster that was rolled up for a very long time in a poster tube. But this is um, from the premiere of Attack of the Clones in 2002. Um, here in Oregon, Dark Horse Comics is headquartered here. And so at some different local theaters here in Oregon, they were giving these out um, as promos. This is super cool Dark Horse comic book art style. And you can see Padme, Anakin, Sam Wessel, Obi-Wan. You can see some stuff happening on Coruscant. And interestingly enough, you can see really what looks like an episode three Palpatine. Um, but this is a really cool poster. Uh, I'm going to show you this down in the corner. You can even see it's got the Dark Horse comics and Lucas books. Um, logos there. This is a super cool poster. It was rolled up for a long time and it was also folded when it was passed out. So it's got some hard lines on there. But let me show you the back side. Okay. Uh, again, okay, so here you can see it says from the silver screen to your bookshelf, Dark Horse has all the Star Wars film adaptations you're looking for. I found it particularly interesting what they're actually showcasing they're showcasing the star wars manga manga however you say that um i've read some of these and it's interesting that they would highlight these in particular um i mean it's definitely manga art style and it's just a story treatment um not for me not super exciting but i mean it's it's an interesting little oddity that they would promote this out of all things on the back um and then you also have the special edition comic book adaptations here um, which are pretty cool and then the boxed set and then again comic adaptations of episodes one and two and then last but not least they have these busts of anakin um, Obi-Wan and Mace from Gentle Giant Studios and this was a new thing and if you want to read here about these mini busts you know it's, it's pretty interesting pretty limited edition stuff and then again you have the Dark Horse logo and you have the Lucas logo but this is the second side of the poster um, super cool front and back given out at movie theaters I don't know how many of these are, but given um, that it's over 20 years old and it's been folded and put in a poster tube, I'd say it's in pretty good shape. And one day get this framed and it'll be a nice addition to the collection.